Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 22H2, the last version, on VMware. For doing that, we're going to open the browser. And on the browser, we have to go to Download VMware Workstation Player. I'm going to leave this in the description below. Go to Downloads and then you click here on Download. It automatically downloads for you. Now I have it on the, my desktop here. I'm going to run as administrator. I click yes. And then once you have this screen, just follow next. Accept the terms. Next, 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 next. Install. Remember that VMware is a free software that you can use for non-commercial purposes. It's free. So you don't have to activate anything. Now that we have finished here, and you can see this icon here, then we open the file. This is the screen that you have. So you can see here it says non-commercial use only, and then you create a new virtual machine. I'm going to create this one for the Windows ISO. I select the version, and then I click next. As you can see here, it doesn't show me something that, that I was using on the previous video, Mac OS. And also, the script that I'm going to use helps to unlock more functionalities. By doing that, we have to go to the following website. I'm going to leave you the link on the description below so you can download the unlocker. Click here. And I have it already on my desktop going to unzip this part here and then i'm going to install click on the part that says win install then run as administrator now when i try to verify if it is if it is working create here then go to download and it has the option now right now that we have installed VMware Workstation 16 player and also installed the unlocker, we can go and create a new virtual machine. I'm going to use the ISO for Windows 11. Then I click Next, select Windows, and I'm going to use the last one here. And I'm going to name it Windows 11. 22H2. Going to leave it as default here, then click next. 60. Click next. Customize the hardware. Going to put here A kits. Processors. I'm going to leave it as four. Leave it as default here. Leave it as default, 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 default. Everything default. Okay, don't change anything because doesn't have to be changed. Then we click finish here and automatically start the ISO here. Now to download the ISO, just make sure to go to the following website. I'm going to put on the description below and you simply scroll down, then the select Windows. Make sure to go to the section that says ISO, right? Then click on download and select the region, the language, confirm. Click here, the 64 bit, and, and it started on it, right? Now I already have it on my desktop. Then we start the machine. Power on. Press enter. Now, when you are on that screen and you click next and click and install now, I'm going to show you the error message that you will be getting. Click on I don't have the key. Then select the version that you wish to install. You will be getting the following error screen, but you don't have to worry about. I'm going to show you how to skip it so you can install properly Windows 11 without any issues. I'm going to close here, then yes, and I'm going to show you how to fix this out. Go to your keyboard, press Shift, and then F10. It automatically opens the CMD command prompt. Type regedit, regedit on it. Click enter. Now, 
this part you have to be careful because you need to go to local machine then go to system then setup inside that folder hover here and then select the new key we're going to type lab config inside that folder we're going to create a dewar value by pass check bypass tpm check and with the value of one then we're going to create another value and the second value that you need to enter is bypass secure but check with the value of one then we close this and close here now go to install i don't have a key select the version that you wish to install and bingo you have skipped that part basically with some commands click next custom and then click next that will start the installation properly on your system i'm going to leave you the path on the description below as well how to type bypass secure book check and on the and, and the other one as well bypass tpm check now we're going to pause the video here so we can continue later on we're almost done with the installation this is about to finish then click on restart now just take a couple of minutes the system restart for the second time and then we're about to start the installation just a moment now you can see the following screen here just select the language on the keyboard layout select the one that you're going to use click yes it is checking for updates but since you have the latest version that will be not required now we're going to select one name that is going to be the name of the device like the computer itself it will restart for the third time now we have this part here where it's asking you how would you like to set up this device uh, you can leave it as personal use or work school next sign in with a microsoft account you click sign in even though if you don't have that's fine we're going to make the system believe that we are entering ground information so and that way you cannot enter anything related to a microsoft account yet right but it's up to you if you want to use your credential going to leave it as i'm going to put here like that then next then next sign in oops something went wrong that doesn't matter okay that's fine that's why we are doing that because on that way we're going to skip the part where you have to enter your credentials you don't have to worry about then later if you want you can include your credential the valid ones that you have okay click next now enter your name tech warriors and next enter your password now enter the one for your current user security now choose privacy settings for your device going to deselect this one deselect this one deselect this one why am i doing this because this is a way where microsoft can track your location your device data the things that you're typing inking everything related to that if you don't want to share that with microsoft you can deselect all of that and also i have a video on this channel where you can see how to disable the telemetry with some easy steps tell you hi and we're almost at the last part of the video for the installation 
getting things ready for you. This may take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. Okay. We're about to finish here and I'm going to show you what is coming. Almost there. Okay, guys. We have come to the part where you can see your screen and the Windows 11. Now, something that I would like to tell you that you have to do first is go to File Explorer, then eject that one. Now, guys, the other part that you have to follow is go to Player, Manage, Install VMware Tools. I'm going to see if I have it. Okay, I have it here. Then go to Setup. Run as administrator. Click yes. And then click next, complete. Click next, install. The VMware tools is already included on the installation, right? For Windows. For Mac OS is different. And this is the process for Windows on VMware, so you can have an idea. Now with that installed already, it will give you the option to put the system on full screen. Now finish. And it says that you have to restart. Now that we have installed without any issues, enter your password. Okay. Now go to full screen mode here and you can see that it's working properly without any issues right it's running something on the background and you will say where are my tabs and the windows tab are now enabled can you see then those are beautifully included now the other part that if you want to get the old context menu that we used to have is this one here I'm going to show you how to get it there go to rigid on rigid we have to look for the path hey current user okay once you are on that part go to hey current user then software and in software go to classes and then scroll down until you get to the part that says CLSIT. And then inside that folder, we have to create a new key. And then we copy and paste this part exactly as like that. Copy, then click here, rename. I paste it, then click enter. Inside that folder, create another key. And then just type this part here and rename click and that's it now you can see this one the only thing that you need to do is double click and click ok because the value not set then when we click ok the value is fine then we close this one here and now it's time to restart so this can have effect I'm going to restore the computer here. Now that the system has restarted, I'm going to enter. As you can see here, I have the all context menu back. Well, guys, we have come to the last part and we have been able to install the latest version of Windows 11 on VMware machine. I hope you liked the video and if you have comments, go ahead. We are here for you. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.